Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we are going to be painting up an ultramarine. Now, guys, I cannot see in the Speed Paints by Army Painter a blue currently that I would like to paint up. You know, I said ultramarine, I meant a space marine. We are going to be painting up a space marine, and I cannot see a blue to do it as an ultramarine, so I'm going to do it as a red ultramarine, a blood angel. Now, you may have been watching the channel for a long time, and you have seen that years ago I did a blood angel very quickly using contrast paints. Now, this came out reasonably well. It's not the worst blood angel I've ever seen in my life, and in fact, it's pretty good. For, for the number of minutes it's took, I can't complain too heavily, but as you all know, contrast doesn't sit that well on flat surfaces. So I want to do exactly the same using speed paints. I'm going to paint exactly the same as I did the original Contrast Blood Angel. We're just going to see if the speed paints look any better, pool any differently, etc, etc. Now I've primed this miniature in the same way that I primed the original Contrast Blood Angel, and that is using Citadel's Wraith Bone Primer. Uh, Army Painters Speed Paints actually recommend it use their white primer, just their basic one. It's a little bit cheaper. There's no special primers for their speed paint range, but I thought I'll just keep the color a little bit more uh, presentable. And I actually think that's the Wraith Bone Primer is potentially smoother, so we'll see. That's a an, an, an bonus test we're going to do in this video. So I'm going to look around for some amount of time to try and find my freaking speed paints, because who knows where I've put them. I'm going to be using this Blood Red by the Army Painter in their speed paint range. I think it's a similar match to the contrast version, that Blood Angels. As you can see on this Ultramarine, I've not attached his arms or his gun. They're just going to get in the way of his insignia, whatever that thing's called. Is it his insignia? The chest emblem. And I want to be able to paint that up nicely as well. Just a little bit of detail. I often find with speed paints, with contrast, with speed painting in general, it's those little details, a little bit of attention to detail, a bit of real paint perhaps at the end, that sort of thing that just spices it up, makes it that look a little bit tidier, brings a little bit more va va voom to the miniature and makes it look a little bit better and you can get a lot more mileage out of your speed paints with things like that. So I want to make sure I can access the little bit of emblem you're going to be able to see. I might actually use speed paints on it anyway, but it's just going to be, a, you know, just a bit of interesting detail. I'm going to be using my big brush, my Red Grass Games size 2, and I'm just been applying this generous coat of blood red all over all the red parts of this marine which is basically all of it any of the bits i'm going to do in silver doesn't really matter because i'm going to apply a, a normal silver paint over the top anyway so that'll get covered up i'm just going to try and avoid some of the areas that i want to do in sort of black or dark gray tbd not actually decided yet and that is the the soft bits between his armor so i'm just going to try and avoid that and on his right kneecap i'll give him a little black knee so i'll also be trying to dodge that but other than that it's really just quickly moving this paint around trying to let it pool in random areas and just let it do its work so i'm kind of hoping if i put it on semi thick enough it's going to sort of use liquid tension and pull itself away but we'll we'll see at the end of the video how well that has worked just take a moment while I'm filling this in. Big shout out to everybody who recommended just doing a Space Marine. I asked what would be popular, so this is a this is a safe bet. Unfortunately, I'd like to do a blue one. I'll, I'll keep working and see if I can work out what blue I would use from the Speed Paint range, but bear in mind, I've just got this starter set at the moment, so I actually only have a really dark blue and a really bright blue, but maybe I can base coat it in something else that's gonna dull one of those down and make it more like an ultramarine color. If you would like to see any other videos, just let us know in the comments below. We read them all. Mike's currently working on a mixing, wet blending style video that's been requested a lot of time so we'll try and get some information out for that in the future i'm going to work on some bespoke bespoke not really bespoke but just straight up tutorials using this paint painting an entire miniature so keep these suggestions coming so with the blood red applied all over the marine now i think we should take a moment to contrast it with contrast paints and have a look how it compares to the contrast marine that i did a couple of years ago now and i think this speed paint's done an absolutely amazing job bear in mind it is going to be considerably less money but if we look at the legs in particular i think the details are popping out on his foot and his shin and around this round bit here it's sort of impossible to see on the other miniature uh, it's um lighter as well i think it's popping out the detail well it's less shiny i don't remember if i glossed this but i didn't think i did so you've got less shine going for it but you've got to remember this speed paint is going to be considerably cheaper and it's done what i would say is as good a job if not potentially better there are some bad points of it but it's also the same on the contrast you've got a small little bump here that gathered on this um power pack whatever you call this bit here and and it's even worse on this and I don't think that's the paint's fault in particular I think I need to take a little bit more care to not allow it to pull there but overall for a, a couple of 
was it even minutes for a, a minute's amount of work just slapping that red paint all over the miniature i think it's a good contender in particular if we look at the gun and the arm parts i would say this new arm the speed paint version is infinitely better than his arm there it's maybe not quite the red you want i don't know the factions that well but you can really see the highlighting and the shading it's even worked well on the flat area it's making the back and i think that was just an accident look a little bit darker to the front which would be catching more of the light but more importantly the folds and the creases in his armor and the details just popped out a little bit more so I'm, i think that's worked well i think it's still got the pooling on flat area problems you do need to be a little bit more careful i managed to be more careful on his shoulders and that's looking clean as a whistle give or take maybe a little bit here that's not come out so well but you've got a nice little shade mark all the way around here popping out the edge of his armor and the rest looks fairly flat and I'm, I'm impressed with that for the speed and time it took me so for this next part, I'd like to get the miniature glued together and to do so, I need to paint up some of the details. I need to paint this insignia on his chest, this emblem here, and I want to paint his gun. That's going to be harder to get to his belt buckle as well. And to do that, I'm just going to take some army painters, claymore blade, a very, very light, bright silver. I'm going to paint all of those areas at a base coat, essentially, because I do want to show off some more of these speed paints. But I want to do it from a primer, from a base of silver and get them looking metallic-y. Obviously, I couldn't spray just these parts in silver, so I'm going to have to apply the paint directly. Just using a brush, I'm going to use my detail brush. This is my Red Grass Games Double Zero. It's very old. It doesn't have a particularly good tip. It won't matter. It's, you know, it's a standard Space Marine. It's got quite big, chunky detail that's very easy to paint. So, yep, yeah, smash some of this silver on, on his chest, belt buckle, I'll do some on his power pack as well, just some bits to pick out. And I'm going to paint his entire gun, prime his entire gun in this silver as well. And I might do some different effects. We'll see how I feel in the next few minutes. With the silver dry now, I'm going to apply a little bit of this new speed paint, this Grave Lord Grey. It's kind of dark grey. And I'm going to apply that over all of the bits that I want to look sort of just, just silver. It's kind of going to use it like a wash and hope this silver pops through. So yeah, this is going to go across his chest, across his belt, across those pipes that uh, silvered on his face, uh, his earmuffs, the bits of his uh, power pack on his back as well that are silver, and half of his gun as well. I'm going to two-tone this gun in two different metallics to give it a little bit more detail. I'm also going to apply this grey to his, what do you call his gun pouch? I think I want to mix up the utility belt that he's wearing. I'm going to do some brown to match the original contrast version that I did of this Blood Angel, but he, the original didn't have a pistol on his utility belt, so we can do what we want here, but I think I'll do the gun handle in black, so it's going to be nice to put this grey right next to a black so we can really see what's the difference. I'm going to try and just take off some of the excess there in case it pulls funny. We'll see how this pulls because it's a very flat surface. So the second color I want to paint over the metallics, really just to finish off that gun, is this dark wood, a dark brown speed paint again. Now hopefully you've seen our video on experimenting painting over metallic primers. So you've already seen these colors. If not, check out that video. Uh, the Necrons just show it off really, really well. I was a big fan of these two colors, so it's great to actually apply these in a real use case scenario. So yeah, I'm just going to paint up the rest of his gun just using this, this brown. It's going to make it look sort of... What, what did we decide that color was? I don't know, aged bronze or something, but it's just a really nice looking metallic color. It's just gonna give the gun two tone and just make it look that little bit more exciting in his hands. So that's all the metallics painted up. I just want to take a minute, look at that. That looks beautiful. I'm not gonna do any highlighting or anything like that. Silver's really popping through and it looks looks absolutely perfect. To compare that to the original that I'm going alongside, it looks identical. It was split seconds amount of work. Now for the next bit, I was going to paint these shoulders, well, I was going to glue the gun on, but these shoulders are still, like, I want to get under here, so let's keep the arms out of the way. I was going to just paint it black, but let's just take another speed paint for a spin, not use grim black before, but let's try it out. So this is just going to be a case of applying this very carefully, because I don't really want it to go on the red, and just quick thin, I think I'll go for a thin layer, but a smooth layer. I don't want it to pull or anything daft like that. So just as quick as I can around the shoulder pads and getting nice and underneath before the arms are in place, but simple step. And then we'll see once this dry, how the grim black, the black speed paint looks for the first time. So I think that black has taken pretty well. There was a bit of a dilemma where I should let it spill onto the red because you want to get all of the edges. And I already liked how that red looked. So in some places it spilled, in some places it didn't. So 
bear that in mind. I also remember to paint the gun black and you can see a subtle difference between the black and the gray. And I also did his kneecap. I had to do two coats there because I put my hand on it after I'd done the first coat and ruined it. So I had two coats there, but I wanted it black anyway. I just noticed that two coats come out of really matte black. Looks really nice. So he's, next up, I'm going to paint on some of these details. So he's got these, are the purity seals? I can't remember. But there's this like wax bit. And for that, I'm going to use Army Painter's new speed paint, this Slaughter Red. I'm going to use my detail brush and just carefully apply a layer of this paint all over the actual waxy bit and then leave that to dry and we'll work on the actual ribbons. So while that wax is drying, I just want to take a quick second opportunity to apply some Sand Golem, another speed paint, to these sort of leather pouches that's on his bottom. Um, use my detail brush, get quite a lot on the brush and then I'm just going to slap it on. I think this can even pull uh, as it looks like it's about to there. I think it'll give it a nice sort of tarnishy leather look when we're done. I shouldn't have wiped it off there. Let's put a dab more on there, something like that, and let that dry. That just leaves me with a teeny tiny splash of this flaccid boner. I've used this a few times. It's nice. It's a nice little bone, slightly off white brown, and it's going to look perfect with these. I don't know what they are. I'm sure these are purity seals, and these are like the scrolls or whatever it's attached to the Space Marines. But whatever it is, it wants to look a bit like a scrolly ribbon. So let's apply a thin layer of this and then that's that's it. We're done. This was a really, really quick paint job. It's ridiculously quick. It's actually going to take me more time now to go away, apply some decals and the base. But I'm going to do that. I'll do it off camera because you all know what that's like. And if you don't, videos are already on the channel for that. But I'm going to do that and then we'll have a look how it looks fully complete. And with that base completely finished, it's another one I've cracked off. Absolutely loving this paint job. Now, it is not perfect, do not get me wrong. It's very, very similar to contrast. It is still going to pull on the flat surfaces and look a little bit dirty, that sort of thing. But I think the actual speed paint went into those recesses a little bit better, really popped out the details and did that sort of line recess shading. What do you call that? There's a name for it, isn't there? But but the shading around the Marines that really pops out each piece of the detail. You can see that very clearly on the back of his legs, each piece of that armor popping back out. I think it's worked really well. Now, I did make a big mistake on the power pack. I let it pull too much. Honestly, if I didn't want to just show you the, how easy that mistake was to make, I would go and clean that up because I, I, I dislike it that much. I also used a couple of extra speed paints on his gun as well as his shoulder details i guess you would call it the marine itself only took like sort of 10 20 minutes it was absolutely nothing putting on those decals took all of the time in the world and i would do that no matter how i painted it so overall i'm a huge fan of doing this especially just for getting some tabletop quality marines out there this is really really going to speed up how i paint my marines and they're not going to bother with edge highlighting you could do that and take it to the next level love to know if you think that would be worth it or if you just need to smack out 100 marines something like that. Anyway, guys, thank you all ever so much for watching. As always, I'll see you again soon. Different pieces. I've got such a freaking lisp at the moment. So for the next part, I really want to get these. So we're going to try now and get these miniatures. These miniatures, there's only one freaking miniature. How hard can this be to say? Yeah, I'm sure there's a word for it. It's just it's just gone. I don't I just don't know it. It's driving me nuts. I'm gonna have a breakdown. I'm honestly gonna have a breakdown.